The United States Air Force's 7th Space Operations Squadron is an Air Force Reserve Space Operations Unit located at Schriever Air Force Base, Colorado. Mission The 7th Space Operations Squadron is a reserve associate unit that is integrated with the 1st Space Operations Squadron in operating the Multi-Mission Space Operations Center, a one-of-a-kind satellite operations center focused on rapidly fielding space technologies for warfighters. History World War II reconnaissance training The first predecessor of the 7th Squadron was the 7th Photographic Reconnaissance Squadron which was activated on 28 January 1942, at MacDill Field, Florida and assigned directly to 3rd Air Force. After a brief period at Savannah, Georgia, where 8th Air Force was building up for its move to the European Theater of Operations, the squadron moved to Colorado Springs, Colorado, where it became part of the 2D Photographic Group. The squadron's primary mission was to train air crews in photographic reconnaissance. The squadron was primarily equipped with the F 4 and F 5 reconnaissance versions of the Lockheed P 38 Lightning. In October 1943 the squadron moved with its parent 2D group to Will Rogers Field, Oklahoma, where the 3rd Air Force Photographic Unit Training Center was located. The squadron was also called on to provide personnel for new reconnaissance units as they were activated. However, the Army Air Forces was finding that units like the 7th, based on rigid tables of organization were not well suited to the training mission. Accordingly it reorganized its training activities into a functional system in which each base was organized into a separate numbered unit. On 1 May 1944, the unit was disbanded and its personnel and equipment, along with other photographic reconnaissance training and support units were used to form the 348th AAF Base Unit Replacement Training Unit, Photo Reconnaissance. Topic. Liaison in Europe, the Caribbean and the United States The second predecessor of the squadron was the 7th Liaison Squadron, which was organized at Heidelberg, Germany as part of the occupation forces following World War II. At Heidelberg, the squadron replaced the 153d Liaison Squadron, which was inactivated a few weeks later in preparation for its transfer to the Mississippi National Guard. The 7th used light aircraft to provide courier and transportation services for personnel of the American occupation forces until it moved to the United States in June 1947. It performed similar services at March Air Force Base, California from September until it was inactivated on 28 March 1949. The unit was again activated as the 7th Liaison Flight at Albrook Air Force Base, Panama Canal Zone in October 1949. There, it provided operations and logistical support for the Inter-American Geodetic Survey in the Panama Canal Zone, until inactivating again on 8 September 1952. Returning to squadron size, the 7th Liaison Squadron was activated the following month at Donaldson Air Force Base, South Carolina, where it flew de Havilland Canada L-20 Beavers until inactivating in June 1954. Topic. Special operations In the late 1960s, the United States drew down some of its forces in Europe. To continue meeting its commitments to NATO, the Department of Defense developed the concept of «dual-based» units that would be stationed in the United States, but would be committed to augment NATO and would regularly exercise with other forces in Europe. 
As part of the withdrawal, the Helio U-10 courier flight of the 7th Special Operations Squadron at Ramstein Air Base, Germany was used to organize the third predecessor of the squadron, the 7th Special Operations Flight at Otis Air Force Base, Massachusetts in July 1969. The flight operated the couriers and, briefly, a Douglas C-47 Skytrain from Otis until May 1972. That month, the flight moved on paper to Eglin Auxiliary Feed No. 9 Hurlburt Field, Florida, where it was equipped with the Fairchild C-123 provider. Shortly before its inactivation in April 1974, the squadron swapped its fixed wing aircraft for Bell A1 Hueys. In 1985, the three squadrons were consolidated as the 27th Special Operations Squadron, but the consolidated squadron remained inactive. Topic: <laughs> Space Operations. The Consolidated Squadron was redesignated the 7th Space Operations Squadron and activated in the reserve at Falcon Air Force Base, Colorado, on 1 January 1993. The 7th was the first reserve squadron with a space mission to be activated. Prior to the squadron's activation, reservists who worked in space-related positions were individual reservists under the individual augmentee program. The squadron was first assigned to the 302D airlift wing at nearby Peterson Air Force Base, but by 1997, reserve space participation had grown and the squadron became part of the new 310th Space Group. The previous mission for 7th was to augment space operations squadrons of the 50th Space Wing, specifically the 1st Space Operations Squadron. These activities included satellite emergencies, launch and early orbit, and satellite disposal for the Global Positioning System and Defense Support Program satellites. Up until 2007, the 7th operated the Midcourse Space Experiment Satellite, Air Force Space Command's only space-based space surveillance asset and also performed booster launch operations mission, providing telemetry collection, data relay for Delta II launches. Topic: Commanders. Lieutenant Colonel Mark Stafford. Lieutenant Call James Hogan. Topic: Lineage. Seventh Photographic Reconnaissance Squadron constituted as the Seventh Photographic Squadron on the 19th of January 1942, activated on the 28th of January 1942. Redesignated Seventh Photographic Reconnaissance Squadron on the 9th of June 1942. Redesignated Seventh Photographic Squadron Light on the 6th of February 1943. Redesignated 7th Photographic Reconnaissance Squadron on the 11th of August 1943. Disbanded on the 1st of May 1944. Reconstituted and consolidated with the 7th Liaison Squadron and 7th Special Operations Flight as the 27th Special Operations Squadron on the 19th of September 19857. Liaison Squadron constituted as the 7th Liaison Squadron on the 3rd of November 1945. Activated on the 10th of December 1945. Inactivated on the 28th of March 1949, redesignated 7th Liaison Flight on the 7th of October 1949, activated on the 27th of October 1949. Redesignated 7th Liaison Squadron on the 8th of September 1952. Inactivated on the 18th of June 1954. Consolidated with the 7th Photographic Reconnaissance Squadron and 7th Special Operations Flight as the 27th Special Operations Squadron on 19 September 19857, Special Operations Flight constituted as the 7th Special Operations Flight on 18 March 1969 activated on 1 July 1969. 
inactivated on the 30th of April 1974. Consolidated with the 7th Photographic Reconnaissance Squadron and 7th Liaison Squadron as the 27th Special Operations Squadron on the 19th of September 1957, Space Operations Squadron, 7th Photographic Reconnaissance Squadron, 7th Liaison Squadron, and 7th Special Operations Flight consolidated as the 27th Special Operations Squadron on the 19th of September 1985. Redesignated, 7th Space Operations Squadron and activated in the reserve on 1 January 1993. <laughs> Assignments Third Air Force, 28 January 1942 8th Air Force, 29 March 1942 2D Photographic Group, later 2D Photographic Reconnaissance and Mapping Group, 2D Photographic Reconnaissance Group, the 7th of May 1942 to the 1st of May 1944. 12 Tactical Air Command, the 10th of December 1945. Headquarters Command, United States Air Forces in Europe, the 10th of March 1947. Tactical Air Command, the 25th of June 1947, attached to 300 Army Air Forces Base Unit. First Fighter Wing, the 1st of September 1947 to the 28th of March 1949. 5700th Air Base Group, the 27th of October 1949 to the 8th of September 1952. 18th Air Force, the 20th of October 1952 to the 18th of June 1954, attached to 64th Troop Carrier Group until the 9th of January 1953. First Special Operations Wing, the 1st of July 1969. 317th Special Operations Squadron, the 31st of May 1972 to the 30th of April 1974. 302d airlift wing the 1st of january 1993 302d operations group the 1st of may 1993 310th space group the 1st of september 1997 310th operations group the 7th of march 2008 present Topic stations McDill Field, Florida, the 28th of January 1942, Savannah, Georgia, the 27th of February 1942, Army Air Base, Colorado Springs, later Peterson Field, Colorado, the 15th of May 1942, Will Rogers Field, Oklahoma, the 10th of October 1943 to the 1st of May 1944, Heidelberg, Germany, the 10th of December 1945, Pfaffengren. Germany, the 1st of January to the 25th of June 1947, Langley Field, Virginia, the 25th of June 1947, March Field, later March Air Force Base, California, the 1st of September 1947 to the 28th of March 1949, Albrook Air Force Base, Panama Canal Zone, the 27th of October 1949 to the 8th of September 1952, Donaldson Air Force. Base, South Carolina, the 20th of October 1952 to the 18th of June 1954, Otis Air Force Base, Massachusetts, the 1st of July 1969, Eglin Auxiliary Feed Number no. 9, Hurlburt Field, Florida, the 31st of May 1972 to the 30th of April 1974, Falcon Air Force Base, later Shriver Air Force Base, Colorado, the 1st of January 1990. 93 present equals 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 aircraft and spacecraft